What is a blue moon? Don't ask an astronomer. Mere folklore, and modern folklore, even, a blue moon, means different things to different people, but there's nothing astronomical about the name for the full moon on Sunday August 22, 2021. Here are seven things you didn't know about this week's, blue sturgeon moon, to help you better understand and experience this rare event. The term is often mistakenly used to refer to the second full moon occurring in a calendar month, something that's the inevitable consequence of the moon's 29.5-day orbit of Earth. However, the traditional meaning of blue moon is the third of four full moons in an astronomical season, as measured by the period between a solstice and an equinox, or vice versa. In this case it's triggered by June 2021's full, strawberry moon, being on June 24, 2021, just a few days after the solstice, which allows September's corn moon to occur on September 20, 2021, just a day before the equinox. In North America, August's full moon is named after the sturgeon fish, the continent's largest, which according to the Old Farmer's Almanac are typically caught about now in the Great Lakes and Lake Champlain. However, as with all full moon names, it's named after whatever is being harvested at that time of year, so in other parts of North America and the world August's full moon has been called the blueberry moon, blackberry moon, green corn moon, barley moon and wheat cut moon. As with any full moon, the blue sturgeon moon will be at its most dramatic at moonrise. Although it will be full at 12.02 universal time on Sunday August 22, 2021, this month there are two successive nights when North Americans should look for the full moon in the southeast, moonrise on Saturday August 21 and again on Sunday August 22. Check a moon calculator to get the precise times of moonrise for your exact location. Can the moon ever look blue? Actually, yes it can. Though only under rare atmospheric conditions such as an abundance of volcanic ash, something that is said to have occurred for several years after the eruption of Krakatoa 1883 in Indonesia. The eruption released into the stratosphere particles of sulfur dioxide and ash that were tiny, but wider than the wavelength of red light. So red light was absorbed and blue light wasn't. That's the exact opposite of what will happen to the moonlight that reaches your eyes this weekend if you watch the blue sturgeon moon rise. It will appear orange as it appears on the southeastern horizon, then switch to a pale yellow as it rises higher into the sky, eventually become a bright white. Why orange? The oxygen and nitrogen molecules in Earth's atmosphere are narrower than the wavelength of red light, so red light passes through while blue light doesn't. Watch it on Saturday August 21, 2021 and you'll see the blue moon, close to the solar system's brightest planet, Jupiter. The giant planet will hang about 4 degrees to the upper left of the full moon. 